So I'm out here in the desert again with about, I don't know, $5,000 worth of guns in the back of the truck. I always carry a tactical carbine with me in slam to protect the guns and to protect myself against a desert bear who have been known to come out and leg hump you once in a while <laughs> out here. Yeah, desert bear. Trivia question though, what gun do I use to protect the goods out here in the desert? Besides this, besides the Glock. So you guys know I rock the Glock in some type of LBE. It's the old Tac Force cross draw, which I still love. Love it, love it. The company's long gone. Still functional, so I use it. So yeah, I always have a G17 with me, always. Extra mag. But what's my tactical carbine of choice? Do you remember? I've talked about it a lot in the tabletop reviews. It's a Sega SGL21, modded by myself years ago. I've talked about it lots, but this is my go to war gun out in the desert. It's not an AR, it's this. Yeah, because I think the AK within 100 yards is such a great gun. Once it goes beyond that distance for me, it's like, oh. My enthusiasm wanes a little bit, just for me. So this is a great setup. We're gonna be talking about, of course, the Palmetto State Armory PSAC 47. First, we're gonna remind ourselves how awesome this Russian produced AK is. I've got a surplus steel mag coming in and I still have the old TRS 25 on there because it works and it's paid for. Okay, so we're going to see this in this MOE version of the PSAC, and I'm talking about the uh, Zukov folding stock. Man, do I love these. I mean, I love it so much, of course, I put it on my own AK, dude. Okay, and that's one of the things I'm going to rave about, this configuration of the PSAC by Palmetto, is that I, I don't really have to do anything to the gun. This one, I had to put a bunch of time and money in to configure it this way coating it notwithstanding i mean that was my own choice you don't have to coat it or paint it if you want to paint it man i love this gun it's got an alg trigger in it small plate less dot by the way the trs 25 is still a great sight i love it guys have complained that it's not bright enough out in the daytime I don't find that to be true at all. It's plenty bright out here. And I got sh shades on, dudes. It. Man, I love that trigger. <laughs> all right, so the review is not about this gun. We've talked about it in TMP a lot. I did want to remind you that I am a lover of the type, an AK for sure. Uh, a quality AK is right up my alley for, uh, I, I, you know, you could push you out to 200 yards. I'm not saying you can't. Some guys say your AK is good to 600. I probably don't shoot them good enough to do that for me. Turn this side off. Fluorescent paint on there to remind me that it is in the OFF position. So, uh, yeah, 100 yards, dude. Close range, insane. Love the AK, love this round. And now we're going to consider a high value, super excellent, apparently, uh, PSAC 47. Here it is, dudes, in plum colored furniture, y'all. Check that out. Isn't that cool looking? So it's got all the MOE furniture on it already. The retail on this, this is catalog number 516450213. The retail is like 570 what that is awesome 570 that is really excellent it like harkens back to the days when ak's were affordable you know arson arsenal got totally carried away their ak's are insanely overpriced now that's why i don't review too many actually i haven't reviewed any for like 10 years they're way overpriced the sam 7 way overpriced Great gun, super quality, no doubt about it. Heck, I have one right here, I just shot it. Uh, but I'm not gonna go out and spend, I don't know, $1,200 on an AK. Not for a stamped receiver gun. 
that shoots like four MOA. By the way, that's what the factory rep says their, their goal is for this, is four MOA, which is, uh, that's loose. I'm not gonna say it's not loose. Four MOA is, is it's a big circle. But honestly, that's about what AK shoot out here. Uh, mine will, that SGL will shoot that with uh, ammo it you know, kind of likes. Uh, occasionally I'll get two MOA out of it. I've shown that gun over the years so much as a cast member. And it's in my personal systems as well. But the furniture, once again, perfection. As we jump into the features review, barricade style in TMP. Look at that dark colored plum furniture of the Zukov sliding and folding stock. So this is a real nice upgrade. Downside is it does add weight. The Zukov adds weight to your gun. There's no way around it. But I've made a decision that it's worth it. I've always said in my reviews that there's good weight, there's bad weight. Good weight is something that really adds capabilities to the system. This adds capabilities. Adjustable length of pull, I think it goes out to like 13 inches. It's a folder. You can fire the gun while it's folded. It's solid, it's durable. It's comfortable on the cheek weld, at least for me, although I don't have my beard growing out right now. Sometimes you, you're surprised by that. I don't really see any grab points on the rollover cheek, uh, cheek rest there, do you? And then you've got an MOE AK pistol grip, same coloration. And then it's black nitride, I think, the entire gun, the PSAC 47. Hope I'm telling you right. Yeah, it is. Nice. Has an optics rail on it. I have an old KS40 KV04 mount on it, which is heavy, but I have it in inventory, so I just put it on there. And uh, let me tell you something about that rail, though, after I pop a couple rounds. As we shoot and talk in the desert, Wind kicking up, storm probably coming in. We might get rained on, y'all. Put this down here a little bit like that. Hopefully my mic is doing better. I apologize if the wind comes up always, uh, but we need to keep chugging along here. I was telling you, I only have the zero at 25 yards, so when we shoot paper, I might have to tweak a little bit on camera. Which is awesome actually. It's a smooth sided rust colored tap code mag. I'll give it a pass for now because it's early in its life. Uh, I shot that Riley Defense AK and it, uh, go watch that review, I talk about it. And it, the mag may have been overloaded. Let's see if it keeps happening. Really nice trigger on this. So it's a double hook trigger. They're calling it like military specification. I'll tell you what, I pulled it uh, with my scale and it was four pounds, 10 ounces on this GF3, third generation PSAC 47. Oh my gosh, this is such a sweet setup. So <laughs> excellent. Uh, what I was telling you about the rail, I love that they have the rail. I personally would not buy an AK that doesn't have an optics rail on it. Would you? Come on now. Because then you can do what you're doing here. I'm not forced into putting a Ford mounted reflex sight on it, adding weight. Uh, I've talked about that before. Uh, but the rail is skinny. I tried to put on my uh, RS regulate mount on it and I couldn't get it to go tight enough to lock onto the rail. I mean, I shrunk it as much as I could and then I just went into the bin, pulled out the KV-04S and uh, I could get it to tighten up. So it's nice, nice and tight on there now. Really low to the bore, this red dot. Which means the cheek weld on the Zukov stock is thumbs up, dudes. It's just perfection. One millimeter carbon steel stamped receiver on the uh, PSAC 47. My overall take on looking at it is that it's high quality. It just looks great. 
The riveting is clean and flush. There's no rattling going on. The finish is smooth. The top cover fits tightly. It doesn't rattle around or move around. And then in this third gen, they've got a forged front trunnion, bolt, and carrier in it. So there's a lot of forged pieces, plus the barrel again, uh, 4150. I believe it is chrome line barrel on this PSAC 47. Not the gas tube though. I've always said they should chrome line the gas tube for corrosive ammo. Awesome, my paper's blown off my target with the winds. I'll show you that here in a minute. More features, standard 800 meter rear AK sight on the Palmetto State Armory PSAC 47. Beautiful MOE front end. There's your gas tube. Bayonet capable. <laughs> we like that, don't we? I love it, bayonet capability. Not that I use it, I just like it as an affront to the protectionists. Who knows, I might need it against them desert bear, you never know. They'll leg hump you to death. Standard sling attachment up here for a snap hook, a mash hook. I noticed that on this gun, and this is a sample of one, that this is all straight. There's no canting going on on the front sight base. There, it's centered within that space, you can see. Hopefully it's focusing there for you. Again, that black nitride finish here, not painted like the freaking Segas were in the day. Gah, paint, awful. It does come with a slant break on the PSAC 47. I took it off and I just put on this AK-74 one from NC Star I bought off, I think, Amazon in the day. And I really like the AK-74 muzzle brake. They shoot well, they kind of tone the gun down a little bit. They are heavy though, this thing is like 4.8 ounces. It's a chunk of metal. I'm still investigating like sound forward directing AK muzzle devices. And unlike the SGLs, this has a, a the smaller diameter threading, 14.1 left hand thread. The magazines we're going to look at as we cycle through and shoot them. This again is a smooth side of Tapco. Just a little bit of movement, but really tight. Magazine dimples right here. I've cycled some other mags through there and I was impressed with the, uh, the fit on them. Better than that Riley Defense AK that I reviewed. That Those slop around a little bit. And then I may have mentioned it, I forget, the X and Y reinforcement stampies un underneath the optics rail there. Not an extended magazine release paddle, just standard AK right there. And I kind of wish they had like a bolt retention notch right here, like the Riley does. And I'm going to show you that one here in a second. It does it. It's just a standard, you know, uh, safety catch on the AK. Time to shoot. Wind really kicking up now. I hope my target doesn't blow over. Whew. Rotate this around a little bit right down. Right up and down. There we go. PSAC 47. I'm going to aim a little low with that small plate. It's just an 8 inch plate at 100. Usually, like I've talked about, if we mount a scope on it, that scope sits really high, and then I'm up like this. But with this red dot on this, at least on this mount, it's, it's only about, oh, it's like a quarter inch above the dust cover. Look at the cheek weld, how tight it is. I will say also, I like my red dots mounted aft. I mounted them forward, uh, and I'm not saying I don't like that, like on an MA, MI rail. Uh, I do like it here. All my controls are right here, so I don't have to reach up and swap it up here. Just shooting standard steel case right now. 
So that magazine worked well. The first round, again, is because I overloaded it. Interestingly, the Palmetto guys are saying that this gun, they actually didn't try to copy anything. They didn't try to copy a Russian AK, a Chinese, a Bulgarian, uh, a Romanian. They just kind of went their own way. They took the best features of each one and just kind of mixed them up into the PSAC 47. Also, they didn't try to make it too tight, is what Palmetto says. Uh, they're okay with 4 MOA accuracy, but they want the gun to be absolutely durable and absolutely reliable. And from what I know about it, I think they've achieved their goal. Usually, I don't look online about the object I'm reviewing until I'm totally done with testing. But with the in-field reviews, I do it a little bit backwards. I actually will read online to see what guys are saying about, in this case, a gun. So when I come out, I have a couple ideas I can roll in front of the camera. And my take on the PSAC 47 is that it is very well received. The guys are saying it's extremely durable, it's accurate enough, and that it's a great value, finally, US made AK. Almost entirely US made. I think there's like two parts that they farm out under tight quality controls is what Palmetto's saying but mostly totally US made. Mostly, here comes another steel. Actually, this might be the one we're just popping out of the SGL 21. Great mags, but dang, are they heavy. Holy crap, they're like eight ounces a piece. Woo! Let's see how this one fits. So this is a steel mag in the PSAC. Little more wobble. That's about like the Riley Defense, which is, it's okay, I mean, that's, that's what I'd expect, right? They also will pull their PSACs off the production line. Actually, they did. They took like 25 of them and they ran them through a 10,000 round torture test. And I don't think they had any failures. If they did, I missed it. But I love when a company does that. And I've always said on, on camera, on the tabletops, in the bunker, when they do do it, they're gonna brag about it. If, they, if, if it passed, you're going to hear about it in their marketing. They're like, hey, this thing has passed our test. Wow, that goes fast. That was, uh, oh, I guess that was the remainder of that magazine on the PSAC. Digging the gun, man. Digging it. Now for a competitive option coming your way. One I bet you didn't see coming. No, it's not an AR-15. Although that would be good too. It's actually going to be an SGL-31 545-39 in my super sick multicam job. Still wearing the Tapco furniture. <laughs> Uh-oh, I have a note to myself to re-zero. That's not good. That means my zero's jacked. Ugh, crap, I thought it was zeroed. Oh, whatever, I'll see where I'm hitting with this. Yeah, at least we can see it shooting. Uh, sometimes guys will get excited for this, but I put that on because in the safe, the charging handle doesn't scratch other guns. And you know what? You can shoot it with it on, no problem. No problem. I'll just leave it on. It's fine. Now, if I'm going to war, it ain't staying on. This is just uh, the same mount. So this is a KV-0S mount. Arsenal, once upon a year. This is a very affordable 2x7 Weaver scope. And then the rounds we're shooting are Wolf. It's not 7 and 6 corrosive. I love that stuff. It shoots so hot. But dang, I don't like having to rush home and have to clean the gas tube out because it'll rust big time. That corrosive ammo is just so deadly for uh, damaging your gun. I bet you I'm not even wearing close. Oh, oh, I'm on, holy crap. What a great competitive option. Man. Wow, this is right on. I think what I did is I took the mount off, then I put it back on, note to re-zero. So here we see the larger outer diameter threading on the Segas, they have that. I don't really prefer that. It adds weight, it's more complex to put a muzzle device on. Your PSAC 
47 won't have that problem, just a standard AK left hand thread. They did have some problems early on with the P socks where the muzzle devices were not seating correctly and the retention uh, the retention bit here was jacked up or something. That was a previous generation. I think that is all fixed. I don't see any problems on this one at all. I'll show you more closely here in a minute. I sure love the 545 round. It is such an interesting creature. It's really soft to shoot. I've talked about that. You can carry more rounds for the same amount of weight. Uh, it's just a really great round. I don't think it has any magical stopping power abilities like was talked about in the, I don't know, early 2000s. How it would tumble and create this massive wound channel. I think that's a bunch of garbage. I'll take that off for the anal retentive types. <laughs> Notice that rapid fire, you're just right on it. Right on it. Again, thanks to that muzzle brake, which does help. So, great Russian 545 competitive option. Fun. I'll always look for excuses to run my uh, <laughs> my 545s, and this is as good as any. Next magazine we have coming in is a U.S. Palm, who once upon a time attempted to convince the world you don't need a removable floor plate. I haven't checked in with them forever, so who knows what's up with them. Well, I'll tell you what, that Palm fits in really snug in this. Little bit of movement, but it seems like it's the snuggest yet. Looks good. Looks really good. Waffle pattern here. Shorten that length of pull a little bit. Love these Zukov stocks, man. Love them. And uh, the beauty is, again, you don't have to spend money and time outfitting the furniture on. Uh, and you have that super cool balance of first and second cool. The second cool factor is you can get it in a lot of different colors, gray. Again, this is plum coloration. Uh, they might have some others like OD or something, I don't know. And then first cool is just super capable. I got more area to grasp with the MOE version of the PSOC 47. I got a short length of pull if I'm wearing LBE like I am today, or body armor or winter clothing, adjustable easily relatively right here such a great stock man this is like my favorite ak stock i haven't seen anything to replace it downside is it is more expensive and uh it adds weight barricade review So I'm going to put in a, a poll right here, which which reviews do you like best? Do you like, uh, or if it's even Steven, say that as well, that'll be an option. So we got tabletop reviews, we got bunker reviews, and now we have, I'm going to call them operational reviews. So it's infield, usually on the barricade, but not always. Or that you like them all equally, you like the mix that I'm doing. Uh, I guess a downside to doing it barricade style or operational is when we have the wind, we have the environmentals we have to deal with, and I just keep plugging along. And then two, I won't shoot the gun as much as I would for a tabletop, because in a tabletop, usually I have three outings, 500 rounds is usually the normal. If I do that here operationally, we're gonna be here all day. The, the video's gonna be like an hour and a half, two hours, so we can't do that. And I think you'll get enough data, I'll get enough data to give you an idea of uh, how the gun's performing and how good or bad it is. And if it's bad, I'll tell you that. Uh, this is on loan from Gunny's, the great American gun store, the great American sporting goods store. Uh, I'll try to put a link below. If you buy a PSOC 47, I recommend you do. Do it from Gunny's because there's a, they're the reason I have this one right here. They facilitate the gun show and they have for years. So I ask you to support whatever gun store is working with me at the time. And the time for the last, I don't know, 
seven years has been gunnies. Wyatt and Company. I really like this trigger. I, I'm really surprised because it's not a G2. It's not an ALG. It's just a standard AK trigger, but it feels a lot better. It feels like a G2. It really does. I wouldn't replace it. It's got a long pull to it. It's a crisp break. It feels so Topco G2. Awesome. 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 Notice in this version, it does not have a cleaning rod. And I'll tell you what, guys, I'm not an AK purist. Uh, I'm not an AK expert, but I, I just prefer not to have a cleaning rod on my guns. In fact, on my AKs, if you noticed, what did I do? I take the damn thing off. I don't need an, a cleaning rod. It's just extra weight. I don't throw it away, I store it, but I don't keep it on the gun, it, it comes off. So that this version of the PSAC 47, I call it PSAC, P-S-A-K, Palmetto, I'm glad they didn't put a, a cleaning rod on it. Uh, it's drilled for one, and so you can put a clean rod on it. You can see the holes there, if you're interested. I don't know if guys are, you know, if it's a second cool thing for you and you just like having the, the clean rod, I totally get it. Let me try a rock up there at about, it's about 500 yards, so a little white rock up there. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have you look over my shoulder for this one. Hey, whoa. Okay, that was high about th two feet. Let me get him lower. And I'm out already us palm winchester as we call it in the air force here comes a mag pull let's check the fit on that the PSAC. and then after we're done dicking around here we're going to shoot paper so the fit on this really good boy that mag pull fits in there really nice go right about here all right you can see the puff of smoke there's a little white rock you'll get some receiver flex and it can and will throw your rounds off but I don't want a milled receiver AK it's just too darn heavy for me and I was going to show you something oh yeah this part right here so see how that fits on the PSAC 47 really nice here's a look inside for time I'm not going to break it open plus with all the dust cranking up just standard AK breakdown. 
I might roll a photo in of it of its constituent parts give you a close-up of the bolt the bolt carrier and just the insides of the PSAC 47 I think I'll do that I like their logo on this sucker too that is awesome so Palmetto State Armory has got their logo on it again this is a GF3 model GF3 excellent excellent all right, I did say we're going to shoot the Riley. We're going to do that right now. That's going to be a bunker review done with Tactical Doodle. And I still like the Riley AK. I think it's a great little gun. Here it is. This is in classic laminate wood. It's a Riley Defense Rack 47. I am a fan of this gun. Uh, it did have some stoppages like early early like the first magazine had some stoppages and then since that time it's been a hundred percent in hundreds of round shots since then but who knows maybe the curse of the desert comes and raises its ugly head on the riley defense uh, and this is a later version when they started forging their parts i think early on they had some heat treatment problems boy shooting this after that moe is like going back in time same rock oh dude to the right just barely way right on that one uh, still right there we go there we go steel This thing is shooting right. Wow, this thing is shooting way right. I need to zero it. I'm aiming off the plate, low left. Up on the rock and we're out Riley defense AK still love it it's a great gun it's really a good competition against the PSAC 47 as a competitive option and it does come in different flavors the Riley defense uh, we'll look at this optics rail uh, I don't have any problems at all putting like the RS regulate on that and mount it up just fine there's the uh, notch I was talking about in the safety that the Riley has. So you can just rack it, push the safety up, and right here, notch it. Just as a hold open notch is all. Let's take a look at the two sights. Pretty similar between the two guns. I mean, uh, I like this gun a lot and choosing between the two would actually be pretty hard for me. Now, I think the quality levels of the PSAC are excellent. I wouldn't say they're any uh, better than this gun because I, I say this gun, talking about it in the tabletop is fantastic. And there's that cleaning rod that for some reason we left in there. This is Tactical Doodle's decision actually because he wanted this, go watch that review, we have a discussion on camera. We want to leave it in the standard AK configuration. Kind of a collectible. P-Sack though. Time for paper. Let's go. I'm going to zero it and then we'll shoot it at just uh, 50 yards since I'm a red dot. This stuff right here. That is a great load. Hornady SST. Love it. 123 grain SST. It's kind of my go to war AK load steel cased I don't mind AKs are designed for steel cased rounds all right so the point of impact is going to be different with this load for sure Nikon 10 by 42 monarchs I did an updated review last summer on these they were excellent 
Ultra Monarch 7s. God, I love these glasses. All right, so. I'm gonna do upper right top target on this one. Hopefully the SST is not too far off this zero. Flyer. It's not too bad, just one flyer. Now we'll do bottom target dead center. Three shots. We'll do three sets of, or four sets of three. Upper right, bottom target. A lot of smoke. Bottom right, bottom target. out and we are let's go down field see how it looks looking pretty good through the glass for the p-sack and I'll give you a little sightseeing tour as we walk around walk around up in here and maybe I'll do some uh, more steel shoot before we wrap it up operational review dudes look how cool this looks I love these organic shots. Look at this. There's your thumbnail right there. Freaking A, man, that's awesome. <laughs> God, that's cool. Oh my goodness. That looks tough, doesn't it? With that tan magazine in it. The plum furniture. God, that's a cool gun. So, you might detect already that uh, I would totally buy this uh, PSAC, this GF3. No hesitation whatsoever. And if you have one, say in comment below, guys, how yours is shot for you, how much have you shot it, what kind of accuracy do you get out of yours. I'm anticipating good things from uh, all the comments. Because like I said, I did click around on the interweb and I didn't see anything negative on this gun. It was all good. So here's our accuracy. This was 25 yards when I was sighting it in, like I was telling you. This is SST, 50 yards. That's, I think, that might be SST. I forget which one that was. That's SST, Hornady, Hornady. Uh, I was really hoping it would shoot better than that because we're getting a flyer out of each of these groups. Notice that almost each one of these has a flyer. So that means it's not the shooter, it's the gun or how the, the gun is liking that ammunition. So I'd have to work with some rounds on this gun and see w which ones it liked better. I have found that some stamped receiver AKs don't like the high-end AK stuff. I'm talking the, the ammunition. They like steel cased. Cause look at that. That's a freaking Red Army steel case group. The one I was telling you about, one hole. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. This is a Red Army, Red Army, Red Army. All of those are decent groups. Again, we're at 50 yards. If we're going to extrapolate, then just double the group size, roughly. So we're looking at about four MOA on that. About four MOA on that. Uh, probably one MOA on that one. That one is about three MOA. Four, three, uh, about three MOA. I'm just extrapolating quickly. Yeah, what I'm seeing is that it shoots uh, maybe a little bit better accuracy wise than a lot of other uh, AKs I've tested. Which is to say it's good accuracy. I think it's gonna beat the factories 
goal of 4 MOA. And I bet you in comment, guys that have really shot their PSAC 47s, if they put a scope on it, they get an ammo it likes, I bet you could get this into the 2 MOA category with most groupings from a really solid rest. But I'm operational out here with the wind blowing. Although I get pretty good stability on that table, you guys know this. All right, we're gonna load up and we'll shoot some more steel and we're gonna wrap it up. Here's the magazine that comes with that PSAC 47, a smooth sided Tapco. I really like these. I showed you one earlier on the barricade, the rust colored one. They function great as long as you don't overload them. They have an improved floor plate on them. Here's an earlier version right here, a 20 rounder. And this floor plate is great, but it sticks out just enough where it could snag and bend. A uh, voice of experience, it can bend on you. Not enough that I want to get rid of them. These are still great mags, but they're harder to put into pouches because of the waffle pattern. And so Tapco listened to the users, you, me, and they made this one right here. This is what comes with your PSAC. Holy crap. Holy crap, that wind has picked up. Whatever, show goes on. Let's shoot some steel out of the very compact, wind folded PSAC 47, y'all. Check that out. Oh my goodness, what a good AK this is. Uh, going online before I came out, I was reading reports about there's good bolt wear after thousands of rounds, good piston head wear and that this is a durable, well-made AK from users who have put a lot of rounds through it. And I suspect that is good data. All right, steel now on the PSAC. Can you see it? By the way, the weight on this is seven pounds, seven ounces. Without this, without the AK-74 brake, so with a slanted muzzle brake, that's what it is, in the ballpark, it's not super light. I, I thought it'd be a little bit lighter than that with no cleaning rod. That SGL-21 I showed you is pretty close. It's like seven pounds, four ounces. Uh, still has a skinny AK barrel that we've grown to accept and love. As long as it's forged, I'm happy. <sighs> Gotta buy two of these, they're so inexpensive. in this AK and again here we see Palmetto just freaking smacking one out of the park this is like the fourth positive review of Palmetto guns that I've done hopefully you can hear me with the wind I think you can yeah they did such a great job on several of those ARs that I've reviewed like the 10.5 pistol the 20 inch is awesome and now we have a beautiful MOE configured AK. I mean, it's a perfect balance between first cool and second cool, like I said on the barricade. So we've got the plum colored furniture, nice finish, it's not painted, it's nitrided, 
it takes mags, there's not a lot of mag wobble, it's got a great trigger, optics rail, uh, perfect colorations to suit your own preferences, and then it can shoot molded with a Zukov mod. Total win. Yeah, really excited about this gun. Buy it at Gunny's uh, Sporting Goods. Support the work. Thanks to my TMP Patreon members who keep this whole show and all the work I'm going to do 